Hi, Laura Sullivan here. This 27 year old gentleman had a penetrating eye injury with glass entering his eye 18 months prior. He, uh, he became aneritic at the time and as you can see has a, an inferior corneal scar which is actually adherent to the anterior lens capsule. Uh, he also has uh, retinitis pigmentosa and has a high myope. He came to see if uh, his cataract could be improved. The issue for me there was that inferiorly there appears to be some zonular defects and so I'm starting with some triamcinolone in the anterior chamber to see if there's any vitreous in evidence there. I'm just irrigating that around to make sure um, it's reaching the recesses. Now I'm using some um, dispersive viscoelastic to tamponade that area in the inferior angle uh, initially and then to fill the anterior chamber. I'm just using a 2.4 millimeter keratone to enter the anterior chamber and also to puncture the anterior capsule very carefully. You can see the zonules moving as I do that superiorly. Very carefully starting to do a capsulorexis and the capsule itself is fairly elastic and there's a fair bit of give in the overall lens on your complex but it's basically stable. The issue of course is when I get around to that scar how to deal with that and you'll see what we do with that in a moment. So I've basically done half a capsulorexis here to the edge of the scar. some vision blue which is not going to spread terribly well with the dispersive viscoelastic and uh, so I will uh, need to irrigate that out as you see here and reinstill and blue and spread it around and again just aspirating, irrigating, aspirating to clear it from the anterior chamber. And some more uh, uh, dispersive viscoelastic going in. Now I'm cutting the capsule to tear the uh, capsulorexis back in the counterclockwise direction. to where it meets with the capsular scar. You can see the vision blue has stained some capsular folds going up to the uh, corneal penetration, perforation. And now I'm cutting the base of that with uh, retinal micro scissors. some hydro dissection here. The lens is fairly soft um, but I'm quite aware that it's just possible that that perforation has gone through and through the lens and so I'm just going to go very slowly and gently with the uh, FACO. Just doing a little more uh, visco and hydro dissection. I think that's visco dissection by the look of the response and peeling some of that uh, opaque lens out of the uh, uh, periphery of the capsule. to pick up some of that white 
scar from the uh, cortex inferiorly there. Commencing the uh, irrigation aspiration of the cortical material, which is showing some posterior subcap uh, subcapsular opacity. Once again, I'm not really going too hard at the, uh, at the cortical material under that scar. My main concern is to clear the visual axis. Viscoelastic filling caps in a bag. Now the lens I'm going to implant needs a 2.75 incision uh, using an Alcon B cartridge. It's the uh, IC8 lens with an uh, opaque annulus and I think it's not a bad choice in the setting of aniridia and an irregular cornea. Again, I'm trying to not put too much stress on that inferior capsular fornix. You can see the zonules are, are stretched and distorted there inferiorly. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, how strong they are inferiorly. And once the lens is inserted, I'm rotating the haptic away from that area. This lens is a hydrophobic acrylic lens, pretty much modelled after the Alcon format. Now I'm placing a capsular tension ring again. I'm hoping to reinforce the uh, inferior capsular bag by placing a, I think it's a 10, 10.5 millimeter capsular tension ring. goes in fairly easily. Just suturing and, uh, and then finally performing irrigation aspiration including removing uh, any uh, viscoelastic from behind the IOL. And this is day one uh, post-op, everything looks quiet and uh, settling nicely. Thanks for your attention.